YouTube channel. Today we're doing another wintery makeup tutorial and I felt like doing something a little bit different today so it's a little more cooler in tone and a little bit darker as well than what I usually wear. So I really hope you enjoy it, let me know if you do down in the comments below and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see how we got this makeup look then keep watching. So first we need to prime the eyes and today I'm using the Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just applying this with the Real Techniques lip brush just because that was what was at hand. And then I'm going to set that in place using my Rimmel Translucent Powder. I'm using a Tartlet in Bloom Palette today and I've really been enjoying using this lately. The first shade that I'm picking up is Smarty Pants and we're going to be using this as our transition shade. I'm using my Morphe blending brush to buff this into the crease and then I'm blending it out just past the outer corner because surprise surprise we are doing winged eyeliner today. Over the top of that I'm taking Jet Setter which is a more greyish brown. I do want to try and stick to more cool tones today even though they are a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not being too shy with this shade either because we are going to be applying a darker shadow over the top. So this is going to help us get a really nice gradient and also to help us blend that darker shadow out as well. To darken this up I'm now taking Smoke Show and I'm using this all through the crease but keeping most of the product in the outer corners and you can see that I'm keeping this darker shade lower than the other two. I'm not blending up past them because that's how we get that nice gradient from dark to light. And then as I go along I like to just take a clean buffing brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines. For our eyelid colour I'm taking this eyeshadow crayon which I got in this month's glossy box. I'm really sorry I can't pronounce the name so I'll leave it down in the description box below. I'm using this all over the lid, it's a really nice metallic grey and I'm also taking this into the inner corners as well. To set that cream shadow in place I'm now using the shade Rocker. Now I felt like I needed a little bit of warmth so with a very light hand I took a small amount of Rebel and I just blended this through where the smoke show shadow ends until there was no harsh lines. Now it's time for winged eyeliner and I'm not going too overboard today, I'm keeping it nice and simple and I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner. For the under eyes I'm first taking Rebel on a pencil brush and I'm blending this all the way along. And then to make that a little more darker I'm then taking Smoke Show and I'm trying to keep this as close to the lower lashes as I can. Moving on to eyeliner now and I'm taking Max Costa Riche eye pencil and I'm going to line the top and lower waterline with this. Now for finishing touches on the eyes I first took a small blending brush and I just ran this underneath the eyes to make sure that was all blended out nicely. And I also felt that the outer corners could be a little bit darker as well so I applied some more of the smoke show shadow to make sure that area was really dark and smoky. Now it's time for mascara and I'm using the Revlon Dramatic Lash Mascara. I also applied some false lashes as well. I used the Vegas Nate Grand Glamour Lashes but I applied these off camera because they can be a little tricky sometimes. I like to leave my highlight until I've finished my eyes. I don't know why but I'm using Becca Champagne Pop today and I'm taking this on the tops of the cheekbones, above my brow, on my brow bone and of course down the centre of my nose. Finally for lips I'm using the Dolce K lip kit from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm using the lip pencil first to line and fill in the lips and then I'm using the liquid lipstick over the top. So that completes today's tutorial guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did down in the comments below and leave me a comment as well if there's anything specific that you want to see on my channel over Christmas time. 
So thank you for watching guys, give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!